All right, Eclipse, you want a piece of ham? You're going to get this little piece of ham. Well, it's a big piece, actually, but... Focus. Focus. And... Get it. All right. Get down. Get down, boy. Good boy. Okay. Now get up, boy. Get up. Come on. Get down. Now get back up. Now get back down. Come on. Don't be lazy like that. Come on. Get down, Eclipse. Come on, Eclipse. Come on. All right. Good job. Now get back up. All right, nice. I'm gonna go ahead and film the review so you can just relax on here while I get reviewing. Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review The Secret Life of Pets. The Secret Life of Pets has the voice talents of Louis C.K., Eric Stone Street, Kevin Hart, Steve Coogan, Ellie Kemper, Lake Bell, Albert Brooks, and many more voice talents. The Secret Life of Pets is about this dog named Max. He's really enjoying the life with his owner, Katie. And of course, whenever Katie is gone for work or whatever she needs to attend to, Max invites over his friends to hang out at his place while Katie is gone. However, Max having the life of it being just him and Katie is now gone when Katie brings in this new dog named Duke who is a stray. And Max instantly does not like Duke, so it's up to Max and Duke to get along with each other. And I was really looking forward to this movie ever since the teaser trailer from last year. Like, I seriously can't believe it's been a year since that teaser trailer release, and now we're already at this point where the movie comes out. That's pretty crazy. I love animated movies. I love dogs. So this looked like a movie that was going to be made for me, and I honestly had a really enjoyable time watching The Secret Life of Pets. It's a very entertaining, very adorable family film, and it just brought so much joy to me. Now, with this film, you do have to go into a certain mindset. That's something I will say. If you go into this movie just hoping for a basic, simple storyline on a basic concept of these pets going on their basic adventure, if you just go into this film expecting that, then I think you're going to really enjoy The Secret Life of Pets. But... If you go into this film expecting character development, a deep storyline, and emotional moments to it, then that's where you will be very disappointed with The Secret Life of Pets. Now, first of all, there is the voice cast, and there's so many to name, so if I miss any, I definitely apologize, but the voice talents from Louis C.K. as Max, he was really entertaining. I really liked hearing him. And then you have Eric Stone Street as Duke the Dog. Very interesting to see Eric Stone Street voice in this film, considering we just saw Ed O'Neill and Ty Burrell voice in Finding Dory. So it's like those modern family stars are there while this modern family star is here. And I think that's pretty interesting. I thought Eric Stone Street voiced Duke very well. And I just thought the two of them, as the movie was going along, they had very nice chemistry with each other. Like you can tell that they start to care for one another, which is one of the things I really liked about the film. And I just thought Louis C.K. and Eric Stone Street, they were the perfect choices to voice Max and Duke. These were two very adorable characters, two characters I definitely just enjoyed. And then you also have Kevin Hart as this bunny. I'm not going to spoil too much about his character, but all I can say as far as his character goes is that he was a very entertaining character. I really liked the bunny. He added plenty of comedic moments to it, and I thought Kevin Hart, knowing the comedic talent that he is, he definitely brought a lot when it comes to this movie, and I just really enjoyed him. And then there's other voice talents, like from Ellie Kemper, Steve Coogan, Jenny Slate, Lake Bell, 
Bell, Hannibal Barris, and Albert Brooks. That's right, the second animated film that Albert Brooks has been in two months straight, with him voicing Marlin and Finding Dory, and now him voicing this hawk. And I really enjoyed that hawk character. I thought the hawk character was very funny. Just how he would talk in some of the scenes, his expressions would make me laugh, as well as other characters, like all these other dogs, or the cat for that matter, just all of these other pets that we see in the film. They're very enjoyable characters and I feel like they all bring their charm. That's the thing about this movie I really enjoyed. Each of the characters have their own charm. They have their own likability. And that's another thing I really give huge credit to The Secret Life of Pets for. I really like how accurate they are in terms of portraying the pets. I would definitely say specifically in like the first 10 to 15 minutes of the movie because you get all of the normal pet stuff then that's where the movie Movie really kicks in with its adventure from there and you still get that throughout the movie but most of it definitely comes from the beginning and how the movie sets up all of that in terms of how the dogs would react how the dogs would bark or how the cat would just be lazy and not care about anything and even some of the stuff that characters say you would look at this movie going oh yeah that's totally my dog or oh yeah that's totally my cat like it reminds you so much of your pets because of some of the ways they think and say and that was something I was hoping from this film and I definitely got that the animation in the secret life of pets is beautiful illumination they have really good animation into their films so it's no surprise but the animation in this film is really so colorful it's so vibrant it's so creative with the character designs and the overall background the storyline in the film is very very basic there isn't too much to the storyline but I do feel like how the film handles the basicness if that's even a word I thought it was handled in a very clever way the film you could tell isn't trying to go big or anything you could tell just wanted to tell a simple storyline you have your characters from point A, point B, and this adventure, and boom, the movie ends. And I thought that was handled very well, honestly. The score is also done by Alexandre Displat, a very amazing music composer, and I thought he did a great job composing the score for The Secret Life of Pets. I thought the movie just had a very beautiful score. They do play a lot of songs, modern songs, that we're known for today, but whenever the movie does play a score done by Alexandre Alexandre Displat. It really does fit the movie very well. It sounds very beautiful. There were so many moments where I was definitely laughing throughout this film. And I mean, the movie does have moments for the adults here and there. There are sprinkles of adult humor, but for the most part, the humor is aimed towards kids. And I will say, for most of the parents out there, I don't think they're going to really enjoy this movie as much as the kids because the movie is more aimed towards the kids well then again when I went to the advanced screening for this film I went with my mom my aunt my cousins and a couple of my cousins are actually parents and they ended up really enjoying this film so who knows I guess it depends but the film is aimed more towards kids when it comes to humor I thought the movie for its simple slapstick humor and just the simple humor it's going for I thought it worked very well and I think it also worked very well because of the expressions of these pets, the reactions of these pets. And I do think for the majority of the movie, it is very well paced. The movie is very fast with its pacing. It keeps going and going and going. But however, yes, there are definitely flaws with the secret life of pets. And one of those flaws to me is that while the movie does get very fast paced, there were times where I did feel like the movie does get way too fast paced. Like I think it rushes way too much in some spots of the movie and I would just go, whoa, okay. Also, if you're expecting to have this movie tug at your heartstrings, then yeah, you're not gonna be really all that impressed with this film because the film does attempt at that a few times and honestly when it attempts at bringing emotions, bringing that heart, unfortunately 
it doesn't really exactly feel natural. It actually comes off as forced. I love heart in my animated movies. You don't have to be like an emotional anime movie per se, but just having your simple heartwarming moments. The only time I pretty much got that heartwarming feel from this film is really once we get to the ending without spoiling anything, of course, but that's really the only time I felt heart towards this film. There's also a backstory which pretty much ties into my flaw with the heartwarming stuff. There's a backstory with Duke that could have set up for something honestly very interesting for this film. Like, I was watching it going, okay, I'm not buying into it because the way it's trying to attempt at emotions wasn't really working for me, but it's set up for something interesting, and after we learn about Duke's backstory, the movie completely puts it under the rug. It completely forgets about that entire thing, so what the movie sets up, entirely gone. As far as the humor goes, it doesn't always work for me in my opinion. The majority of the humor definitely had me laughing for sure, but some of the moments in the film didn't necessarily quite work for me. I do think in a few parts, those few times the film did slow down just a little bit, I was getting just a little bit bored. Not extremely bored, but just a little bit bored. I also would have liked to see a little more of Max and Katie interacting with each other like from Katie's point of view. It's just Max barking but in Max's point of view he's trying to talk to Katie. And I would have liked to see more of their interactions because I thought the movie handled their interaction very well for the limited time that it was there. I just wish that the movie had more aspects of the difference of the human's point of view to their pet and the pet's point of view to the human. I would have liked to see more of that. And there are moments in the film that you can definitely predict. And overall, you guys, I really enjoyed The Secret Life of Pets. It's a film that I just had a really fun time with. Yes, it's not deep with its emotions. It doesn't necessarily hit the mark there, but what it does hit the mark with is having so much personality with each of the characters, just being very basic. Even with the film feeling too rushed in some parts, I do feel like overall the pacing was very energetic. It pretty much never really stops with its pacing and I do really like the accuracy of how pets can react and what pets can think. However, watching this film I did get the vibe that I don't think parents are going to enjoy as the kids for the most part. Some parents could enjoy this but just watching this I am getting the vibe that it's one of those animated films that kids are going to enjoy more than the parents. And I could see someone saying they're disappointed by this film like I could definitely definitely understand someone telling me this movie disappointed them because it didn't really have too much with the storyline. Yes, I can admit there isn't much to the storyline, however, how it was handled to me personally, I really enjoyed it and I definitely accepted it for what it was. It is a solid family animated movie and I'm going to give The Secret Life of Pets 3 out of 4 stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about The Secret Life of Pets. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!